This is the Iowa Weather Report for Friday, February 13th, 2015. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at noon today. And it may be Friday the 13th and we're going to be very unlucky because the cold air is going to be just continuously sweeping in across the area for the next couple of days. Another piece is going to be to our north and that'll be with a system that's going to drop in later tonight into the early part of Saturday. Meanwhile, today it'll be fairly lucky. We'll have highs in the 20s northeast to the 30s to almost 40 in the southwestern counties with mostly cloudy skies northeast to mostly sunny south and west. Then the unlucky part comes. It gets cold again. The clipper moves through. Could bring a flurry or snow shower. But otherwise, temperatures on Saturday will likely be falling through the day down into the down into the sub-zero reading Sunday morning, especially in our eastern counties. The western counties will see an increase in the clouds with a little bit of snow that will be coming through. May see a light accumulation with this on Sunday as it moves through the area. And then it just stays cold as we move into Monday. Highs in the teens and lower to middle 20s. Lows in the single digits or lower teens, depending on where you are. And then as we go into Tuesday more cold air is coming in, as if it couldn't get any worse. Now, there is a system that we were watching Earth for early next week, and you see that across the Gulf Coast. This system, this run has it a lot further south and a bit weaker. We'll have to keep watching to see if that continues, because as you can see by Wednesday, it then sweeps up to the north and east, and it looks fairly nasty for New England again, as if they need any more snow. And all that does is just dump the cold air even further into the south, so we're going to share the cold air with everybody else. And that even goes into the into Thursday next week. Warmer air tries to keep coming in from the west. You can see that with the height levels. Very warm and dry across the west. And they really need some more precipitation out there. But you can see by next Friday, the flow straight from the north. And then it sweeps across the plains and midwest and Great Lakes and northeast. And... That pretty much means that this cold air is just going to continue to reinforce itself every couple of days. You can see by next Friday, could see another clipper type system moving through that could bring a little bit of snow. Any of these clippers don't look to bring a lot of snow with them, but enough that it could cause some, some travel problems. Going into the extended period, the 24th, and it still looks the same. Another batch of cold air looking to make a run on the state. And you'll see that with some energy off to our north, and that could sweep in later in the in that week. Another system over New England. I promise you, these are different met, these are different images at each time. A system off the northeast coast moving into the Canadian Maritimes, another clipper coughing in. And then we go to the 28th, the end of the month, and the end of the forecast. You can see the flow is still coming from the north and it sweeps across the northern tier of the country, but we have a split, an upper level feature moving into the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. And that could bring a bit of precipitation there, and that could cause our cold weather pattern to finally begin to break as we move into March. We can only hope so, but March also signifies the first day of spring later in the month. Satellite image from last evening couple of high mid-level clouds around, nothing real big at this point. A system moving off the northeast coast brought a little more snow to the north and east. Some clouds streaming into the west coast as well, fairly quiet elsewhere across the country. The watch warning map from last evening sees some winter storm watches and blizzard watches across New England. Some wind chill advisories and warnings across New England and the eastern Great Lakes. And from the Mississippi westward, it's fairly quiet at this point, which is very atypical for February. The KPF chart, precipitation over the next five days. This goes through uh, Tuesday evening or Wednesday at six o'clock or so. Very little precipitation around here. A lot along the Gulf Coast with some wintry mix possible as well.